Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the um, Aztecs in our tutorial series. So we have some stuff going on. I'm going to try and get reacquainted here. I am going to continue doing this good stuff. I think I'm going to put a mine right here. And that will give us another production tile in this city. Uh, I might chop this forest here just to speed up the uh, workshop. Now this city does need a trade route to keep it going um, in terms of growth because you can see it has zero turns until growth. So we need to be trading with the capital. The city still needs a lot of help. So we will do that and then we'll go to the next turn. We have a workshop coming out. We have, we have lots of buildings that we need coming out. Okay, this was not what I, this is what I was hoping against. Let's run away. We will keep Eridu. Now belongs to us. We get plus two Era score for that. This city, it was building a district, but the district production gets wasted. We are going to place a harbor because it's the best district to place in here. And I'm probably going to place a campus right there as well. But in the meantime, this city is going to work on stuff like granaries. And we'll send builders over there to help it produce. Uh, let's send you over here to get that campus built up. Let's get that. Let's chop out this industrial zone to finish it. There's a plus three industrial zone. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and get to work on that. We are going to chop here to finish that workshop in a reasonable amount of time. Should be a good one. Medieval era starts in 10 turns or ends in 10 turns. Rather, is what I meant to say. You're going to pop up here and build a mine right there. You're going to do a little bit of exploring. There's Nan Madol. They could be quite good for us to get friendship with. Um, at this point, I am starting to get some workshops. So it could be worth my while to get uh, friendship with these guys. I'm going to go ahead and pick up friendship with Hong Kong. Then we'll continue to scout with this guy. We'll go to the next turn. So no worries on his last two cities. He wants to trade. I will accept this deal. That sounds reasonable. It's an honor to meet you. Would love to not be your hospitality. Choose a production over here. We just got the intelligence agency and our first spy. So we're going to look around and see. There's 192. What we're looking for is a good place to steal gold. And it looks like right now the best place to steal gold is in Sumeria's capital. So we'll send that over there. <clears throat> we'll finish the campus next turn and then we will get the workshop has been completed in here the city is starting to get a nice bit of production we are going to slam down a mausoleum here because it'll only take 17 turns and then the Magnus guy he will be moved to this city, Sampuala. See if we can make that happen. He will be moved to Sampuala because we plan on building the St. Basil's Cathedral in here. Put a mine there. Just scout out things for these guys. You want to trade. What if I also offered you open borders? And yeah, this seems like a reasonable deal. Pick up a little bit of gold, an extra amenity from luxuries. There is the knight. Do a little bit of exploration. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the library in here for the extra science. There's the giant's causeway. That's very nice. That's going to give us another piece of error score. I'm just trying to avoid a, a dark age right now. So I'm looking for as much era score as possible. And we found another city-state, Kabul. Useful. And this guy is going to head over this way as well. I should have enough faith to purchase another builder soon. 190, so I need just a couple turns. Uh, let's switch over to the... 
excuse me, let's switch over to the campus, insert production into the campus, and then switch back to the granary. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I'm just having, being sick this winter, I think, and uh, it's just unfortunate. There's not much I can do about it. We finished the workshop in here. Let's go ahead and place down the St. Basil's Cathedral. It needs to be placed on a, adjacent to a city center, so we'll place it right there. That'll be fine. We are going to pick up diplomatic service because it gives us access to another spy, and spies are very useful for, be, for being able to generate, uh, nice resources we're going to pick up a university in here and we are going to stick to merchant republic because it gives us extra production towards districts although we could change our policies if we wanted to um religious units are stronger extra faith all that sort of stuff i'm pretty happy with this layout right now let's go ahead and insert production into this campus again and we're going to sp start spending our money and faith in here next turn i'll wait a turn keep exploring I want to hug the coastline so that I reveal as much of the coastline as possible because I want to know what's going on over here your delegation is most welcome medieval era ends in six turns we have finished all of our infrastructure in here we're gonna spam out builders in fact I think we're gonna move Liang over to this city Tejo Juan still has room to grow but that's okay it has all the districts it really needs at this point the only thing extra I would maybe consider is an, a commercial hub and an entertainment complex and maybe a holy site but other than that this city is pretty well built up uh Clapapan just finished its granary let's go ahead and get ourselves the campus in here we just need lots of science and let's see campus costs this the builder costs this it's still more efficient to build builders in terms of production for building the campus you explore down around here very good continue to explore with this caravel i might send this one up to the north now that i revealed all this coastline over here my knowledge of printing has improved excellent we're going to want to build a couple of banks so to preemptively get that i'm going to go ahead and get the workshop in here for the industrialization civic you're going to come over and start exploring. You're continuing to explore for me. You need to chop. When Magnus is established. Oh, I forgot to start purchasing builders. Right. Ah, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to do that with... Um, oh, well, I guess... How many turns do I have? I do not have enough turns, so we will just start doing it anyways. Builder completed in here. You bet your bottom dollar we are going to build another builder or a trader. I'll get a trader for now. Uh, let's go up to three with Buenos Aires because we are starting to get workshops, and this is going to give us an extra two production in all of our workshops. I'm not too worried about getting Suzerainty right now, but definitely want to be getting those bonuses god i hate being sniffly i'm so sorry there's nothing i can do about it i really wish i could Ugh. god i hate it i'm so sorry all right uh colossus is finished that's an extra trade route that's handy that extra trader is going to go to uh i think for now we're going to concentrate a couple of traders in here to try to speed up St. basil's cathedral we're also going to harvest here to shave a few turns off of that Okay, so we got banking, we got three workshops, uh, two forts in our territory, we are going to want to get military engineers. Um, we're not going to kill a unit with a knight, we could build a coal mine, I think we'd like to get the two bombards for siege tactics, so we're going to head up to metal casting. We are going to need to build two catapults, so let's get one here not there uh you will grab the amphitheater sempawala is a good trade route that'll help you continue to grow because you have plenty of room for growth you're gonna head this way uh right 
I'm going to gain sources in here. What I'm interested in is getting siphon funds in here because I just want the extra money. It's the most powerful way, it's the most powerful resource that a spy can generate is money because money can be money is essentially production that you can move around the map um, as a concept, right? That's the conceptual idea behind cash. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. You go there. Uh, we have a university in here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a, another catapult. We got the trader in here. We're going to put that in this city again because we just want this city to um, succeed. So we're going to look for production. Looks like plus four production over here. So we're going to trade with that guy. We got another trader in here. Let's get more. Uh, is Liang established? No, one more turn until we can purchase builders extremely efficiently over there. And that's what we will do. You can't move anymore. We're going to explore here. Get up onto the uh, coast so you don't get killed by those barbarians. All right. Let's purchase an efficient builder. And then we'll do another inefficient builder purchase over here. You are going to trade with this because it's a plus three production city. We're down to 17 turns on this. You're going to go here and harvest the deer. That'll take five turns off that. Humanism now is an option. We have diplomatic service. We need to build a spy. That's probably do that in our capital. We have a lot of things that we need to do. This is where things start getting hectic. Um, once you hit the Renaissance, things get hectic because there's a lot of things you need to do in a lot of cities. And you need to have the production infrastructure to do all of those things. And you're going to have to sacrifice some of them. Right. Uh, we're going to want the Enlightenment because it gives us extra science. And our current objective is to win through a scientific victory. So we need to generate more science. I'm going to move this trade route to the capital now. I'm pretty sure I can get the um, St. Basil's Cathedral with the next three chops. We're going to move you up here. There's Candy. Another, not a single scientific city-state. Interesting. Come up this way. Your delegation is most welcome. We are going to be in a dark age, which is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, these guys are in dark ages as well. We are going to pick up... Uh, we are going to pick up... Monumentality, because we do plan to build a few builders. Or, or, or districts. So here is our first catapult, which will be upgraded into a siege weapon. We need to build um, a spy so that we can continue to spy steal. We are trading for food in this city primarily. I have another builder over here. Uh, most of the places I'm building districts. I think I can build a new district up here. I'm not sure which type of district I want to go for. Uh, if there's an industrial zone going here, I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Then we'll send you over here to help build that. You are going to chop here. You are going to go there. You're going to head over here. You're going to move this way. I do apologize. I can't stop sniffling. I wish I could. I, it, it's extremely frustrating as the person who makes the videos to not be able to not sniffle, right? It's just like my nose is running and there's nothing I can do. I apologize. And I got to make a video because you guys deserve to be entertained. All right. Uh, okay. So we just finished the catapult in here. Um, we need to get two banks. We need to get two neighborhoods. We need to get two shipyards. So I'm going to go ahead and grab mass production so I can get to work on these shipyards. We're trying to use our production as a way to generate extra science right now. That's the basic idea. We're going to grab the workshop because it gives us production. We've got another trader in here. We're going to send that to the capital. We're mainly looking for food in the capital because we want to grow this city really, really big. We have all the traders we can get. 
we would like a commercial hub in here. It's not worth it to crush this. I think it would be okay to put it here. Um, would give us the trade route that we're looking for. I think it still is more produ production efficient to build a builder and then insert the production into the district. Uh, workshop completed in here. Let's grab the market so that we can get to work on the bank. You guys are going to fortify here. You are going to insert into the campus. You're coming this way. One more chop should do this. Let's purchase this. And there we go. We finished St. Basil's Cathedral by using production chopping. And that's, that's what's so powerful about chopping, is it allows you to finish things in cities where you otherwise might not be able to finish them. And it looks like we have more or less explored all of the coastline of this place. So we're going to send this guy over here to just get the circumnavigation um, era score. St. Basil's Cathedral, plus one food, plus one production, and plus one culture in all tundra tiles. This city is now super powerful, as you can see. It is really, really strong. We're going to unlock some stuff here and make sure we're working the good stuff. Uh, we're going to work all these hills primarily. The city is now in great shape. We're going to build the bank. We're going to chop for the bank. We are going to place monasteries around here on the non-hill tiles. You are going to insert production into that. You're going to go there. You... Oh, I meant to finish metal casting. For some reason it didn't shift Q. It went weird there on me. Uh, now, I think we have enough surplus food in here. At this point, 18 food is a lot. So we're now going to start trading with um, Sumeria to get the extra golden signs. You just hang on there. You continue to explore. Go this way. Again, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry for being... Uh, <laughs> I'm really sorry. There's nothing I can do about having a sniffly nose. I wish I wish there was something I could do. It's it's incredibly frustrating for me because I know it's it's lowering the, um, the quality of the thing. I'm going to send this guy to the capital because I want to build more districts in the capital. We're going to do a production swap insert here. Boom, boom, boom. Move here. Finally, we found a scientific city-state. So we are going to want to do everything we can to make them our friend. Now, mercantilism is this. We have to earn a great merchant. Unlikely to happen, so... We have circumnavigated the globe. Awesome. This plus three era score. We're off to a good start in the Stark Age already. We'll get the mausoleum as well. All right. There is the bombard. Do I have the... I have the discount card locked in. So it's handy to leave that one in. We will upgrade both of these. That will give us another boost. Remember, every, every one of these Eurekas you get is like just getting free, um, not free science, it's just like getting extra science generation. It doesn't doesn't reflect in the amount of science you make per turn, but it, it is equivalent to getting a scientific research boost. Uh, we won't be able to get this one. We could definitely get ballistics. So after the spy in here, I'm going to get a couple of military engineers to build forts in just useless tiles. Uh, this great scientist is not very useful. Renaissance or industrial era. Let's see. Well, actually, it is worth a significant amount of science right now, so I am going to grab him. But I might not expend him yet. We are going to activate him. That'll allow us to place another district in here. And the district we will place is the theater square right there. 
but we're going to continue working on the spy. Play the market over here, get the bank. We want to have two banks. Uh, so what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting to get some of these some of these boosts that I can guarantee myself getting. For example, ballistics I can get, uh, <clears throat> economics I can get, uh, sanitation I can get, steam power I can get. I can get all of these, right? So by holding on to my great scientist here that gives me boosts here, I can guarantee that I get boosts towards things that I otherwise can't, like scientific theory, military science, and um, square rigging. Those are the three that I want to get boosts for because I can't normally get those in the current situation. I don't have a knight to kill anything with. Everyone is a friends with me. I can't kill a unit with a musketman. So, but if I hold on to my great scientist and just try to get as many of these boosts as I can, I can sort of manipulate which te uh, technologies I get the Eureka towards. City is starting to become a powerhouse. Very nice. Uh, and that really that, that extra culture is going to be really, really nice because it means we don't have to quite spend so much uh, mental energy and even an empire production energy on building um, culture buildings. You keep exploring. You go this way. We'll go to the next turn. Unit needs orders over here. We will insert production into the harbor. Keep building the granary. We have completed a mission. We have housing shortages. That's okay. Um, we completed the mission here. We are going to now siphon funds. Siphon funds is the highest success rate mission that gives your spies level ups. We are going to have a little bit of a look at this city. We definitely need to build a charge over here. You're waiting. I'm just, I'm keeping the scientist on... Um, I'm not going to put him to sleep because I want I want to get a reminder that I have him every turn. Otherwise, I'll often forget. Now, I could do something like put a pin, but I'm very forgetful uh, if I don't do that sort of stuff. So that's the sort of how I'm playing around myself. What is this? The Kotuku Inn. Okay. We're going to just keep doing a little bit of exploration here. I want to reveal the map. Um, seems like a worthwhile use of my um, caravels. Okay, so we have shipyards. We can build shipyards now. Um, we are basically good. So I'm going to go ahead and head up to industrial... Oh, I can't go to industrialization because I need to get square rigging. So... I'm going to hold off until I have at least economics and steam power. And the ballistics before we go for that. So instead, we're going to just backfill a little bit, grab some of these cheaper techs, grab the fort. Spy completed in here. Let's go ahead and grab the military engineer. We are going to spy on Korea because they tend to have... Another way to get these... Um, Another way to get these tech boosts is by spying on people, and that's what we plan to do with Korea. Uh, we completed the builder in here. Chop into that. Make a builder. Bank completed here. Uh, right. There's a plus three campus right here. Let's do it. But we are going to instead work on... Um, builders. Uh, Magnus now can be parked into the capital, and we are going to do that now for the growth. And then Pingala is going to be assigned to uh, Sempuala so that we can generate uh, extra culture from his help. He's going to help us generate culture here. Although, I don't know, is that the best place to put him? Yeah, it'll be a good place to put him in a little bit. Okay, let's see. How fast can I build shipyards around? Because that's going to be an important question. 13 turns. I'm going to need to buy... I'm going to need to buy shipyards. That's okay. Let us build a builder. We'll put a mine here. 
so that we can insert production into the thingy. We built a builder here, build a monument, go to the campus, delete the pin, build a monastery, go there. You wait a turn, you wait because we're just, we're not doing what we need to do with you yet. Keep getting the granary, do a bit of exploration with my caravel. And looks like we have essentially explored the world. And it's really just a little bit of filling in on the uh, inner side of things with our scout here. There's the mausoleum, yet more era score. Great. Um, I definitely want to get the shipyard. Can I get it in a reasonable amount of turns? Probably not. 12 turns is still a very long time. So I'm going to go ahead and get the monument instead. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let's see, can I get more gold? Uh, I don't have a great work to sell. How far am I from getting a great work? Okay, I'm a couple turns away. I'll be able to generate some gold with those great works. And that'll help out. You head down there. You go there. Production switch to the harbor. Insert. We'll finish that in two turns. Production switch to the commercial hub. Production switch back to the builder. Create an ironclad. That will get us plus two error score. And I think there is a mission build a coal mine and an ironclad so that'll help us towards steel once we get industrialization we are going to take the plus one movement you're exploring okay <clears throat> good job oh my god I wish I wasn't sniffling it's actually so frustrating it's almost like involuntary. Um, you're going to find a place to build two forts. One spot over here is fine. Uh, we definitely want a commercial hub in here, and I think it's time we kill the sheep. Plus four commercial hub in here. That seems pretty damn good. Uh, has one, two, three, and we'll have four. That'll give us an extra adjacency on the campus. We will lose a really good tile, but... I think it's worth it in the long term. We are going to build a builder to build our districts. We are going to... Uh... Get a granary in here. You're waiting because we're not using you yet. We're going to put a mine there. And we're going to insert production into this commercial hub again. There we go. Ironclad is going to move. And we will create a new ironclad. So we have two ironclads now. One with combat strength and one with movement speed. To mirror our current uh, guys over here. The Caravals. Okay, we're exploring. Good stuff. Again, I'm really, really sorry that I am sniffling. There is nothing I can do about it. It's so frustrating. Um, all right, we have a great rider. Let's create a great work of riding. We'll sell that next turn. I don't want to sell it on the same turn that I made it because there's an, ex an exploit that I don't want to take advantage of. Um, we are going to... Build a commercial hub with this guy. We'll put a turn into the monument. Commercial hub completed. Uh, let's go ahead and get the market for the extra trade route. One more turn for the shipyard. Do I want to build the any of this stuff? Let's build the Great Lighthouse. Take 13 turns just because it's available. Switch to campus. 
insert production to the campus. You're heading over there. Uh, we are going to actually work the campus here so that we can finish it that little bit quicker. Uh, grab the granary in here. You're not ready to be expended. I think a couple of lumber mills along this river would be actually perfectly acceptable because they are river lumber mills and it's a late game and this city doesn't really have any hills um, to get production from. So I think a couple of lumber mills here would really help this city out. And then we can put a farm triangle up here. Uh, maybe a farm quadrangle, we'll see. Okay, this builder is doing what? Well, for sure, this city down here needs help. We'll put these into alert mode. Gain military units, gain extra thingies. Yep, extra gold from plundering trade routes. Very nice. Head up this way. Just trying to reveal the map for the sake of uh, having a pretty mini map. You are going to build a fort next turn. You are going to insert production into the commercial hub. Boom. Build a monument. <coughs> build a monastery. The city is looking like it's shaping up to be a great city. All, the best All right. Uh, there's siege tactics, renaissance walls. Really? Okay. So now we can sell this to somebody who has a bunch of gold. They would pay me 22 gold for that many turns. Who has who has actual gold on their person? You don't. You don't. You have a decent amount. You'd pay me five. How much would you pay me? 22 gold. So that's um, like 500 plus how much per turn? 500 plus 4 per turn. That's a reasonable amount. That'll get me much closer to purchasing these. I'm going to purchase a shipyard over here. It'll be plus 1 food, plus 4 production, plus 1 gold. And I'm building, I'm purchasing these because I want to have two shipyards to get the boost towards steam power. Uh, then, I'm probably not going to be able to get the neighborhood one because that's quite, just, just pretty far away. Uh, but we just need a little bit more gold for this. We shouldn't be too far off having two banks. I'm pretty sure I'm building a bank somewhere. Yeah, right over here. Looks like the Great Lighthouse was stolen from me, which was to be expected. We weren't really uh, worried about actually getting it. We were just making the attempt. We'll grab a builder in there and you are going to grab printing. And we'll go for scientific theory. And then once we hit scientific theory, we'll have hit a point where we have to expand the... Um, well, we could probably get ballistics after that before we expand. But once we hit there, we'll likely have to expand the guy. We're going to build a fort. And then build a fort over here. Choose our civic. Now that we have the enlightenment, we are going to swap out the uh, commercial hub adjacency and put in rationalism because we do have fairly large cities with campuses. So we're going to want the extra science if we can get it. And uh, we should see our science jump up. Not a huge amount, but it should jump up a bit. Yeah, 134 science per turn, which is very nice. We are going to... Uh, I'd like to get civil engineering because it's just a better builder card. So we'll head there. Nationalism can be quite good too. Uh, we're not ready to expend you. We're going to swap production to a commercial hub. Insert into the district. And then swap back to build another uh, to finish that monument. We're going to build lumber mills here. Because if a lumber mill is adjacent to a river, it will get an extra production. So it's plus one production for the lumber mill. Plus one production for being adjacent to a river. And then you get another plus one production when you get steel here. Plus one production from the lumber mill improvement. So uh, l l forests adjacent to a river with lumber mills are essentially hills. 
and you can see that reflected in the yields. Um, they're just they're slightly worse hills in that they take longer to unlock and they take longer to um, improve and they take longer to get their bonus production. But they're roughly equivalent to a hill in terms of the value you can expect. And I don't plan on shopping here um, to get anything out. We're going to make the tail of Genji. We're also going to sell that so that we can get our um, harbor a little bit quicker. In fact, how far away is this guy? He's got two more turns until he finishes that. Hopefully he does succeed so that we can grab that extra little bit of stuff from him. I'm going to go build some monasteries around the Petra or the Uluru. Let's place some mines and improvements. You are going to give me some gold because I just need the gold right now to build those uh, shipyards for the tech boost. Unit needs orders over here. Uh, let's chop down a builder. Oh. Finished the monument. Never mind. I kept thinking my builders still had extra movement, but they do not. All right, we're getting some good exploration going on over here. Uh, I could purchase an apostle to improve my religion. In fact, I'm going to do that just to show you why I don't do that. Uh, we have a builder here. Let's get to work on this. I'm just going to buy this tile so I don't have to walk around a bunch. Um, we're going to build the theater square where did i put the commercial hub right there okay now we finally have time to maybe build the anchor one i'm gonna get the commercial hub it's our production um uh, important infrastructure we is there anything we need to start preemptively building extracting an artifact we're definitely gonna want to do that um <clears throat> Two power plants, that's a maybe. Three privateers, that's a maybe. Uh, let's see. Kind of planning ahead here. Biplanes, we're going to want to see if we can get a hold of those. Government, aerodromes. What about in the Civic three, Tree? Uh, urbanization. Capital is up to 13 pop. I'm probably not going to get the pop that I need for that. Um, we should not be... Oh, yeah, this is something that I have uh, been neglecting, but we should definitely not be working faith tiles in here. We should for sure be working science tiles, like, absolutely over faith. And at this point in the game, what you can do is you can set your priorities uh, in your city to production and science, and it'll prioritize both of those things. Um, you can see here it's prioritizing the campus and the... <clears throat> And the encampment. We are going to need a builder over here, really. I have one, but he's kind of busy. Let's just hard build that. We'll get a builder over there to help you eventually. Right, shipyard, let's sell that other great work that we have. Who has money? You do not have money. You don't have much money. You don't have much money. I guess Korea is probably our best bet. Tale of Genji. I'm already Genji. Uh, let's bring this down to a healthy, like, maybe eight gold per turn. All right, eight gold per turn. And the reason we're trading with them is so that we can get our gold up, so that we can purchase shipyards to get the boost that we need. Okay, the bank has been completed in here. And uh, you know what, because I'm sniffling so much, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I'm really, really sorry about the whole sniffling and not being well thing. Um, but I want to just say I appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos, even if I am sick and the quality is a little bit worse than I would like and that you would like. Um, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I love you all very, very much. And I'll see you next time.